What is up? This is Joshua Casper, and welcome to my first tutorial with the new microphone. I hope that all sounds super clear for you. This first set of tutorials is going to be really cool. You guys are going to really like it. It's on building a kick with operator. So you're going to need operator inside of Live 9 to follow along with this. If you have it, great. Let's go ahead and get started. Other than operator, I'm not going to be using anything outside of the Ableton Live suite. So all the effects and everything are going to be native to Live. All right, let's first listen to the sound we're going to be make uh, surrounded by some music. And then I'm just going to solo the kick so you can hear the final product of what we're going to be making in this tutorial series. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Uh, it's a solid sound and kick sound. The cool thing about making a customized kick is that you can adjust the frequency at which it's hitting so you can make it in tune with the track you're making. And you can also make it longer or shorter, which is also pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is Control Shift T on Windows to make a new MIDI clip or MIDI channel. And I'm just gonna drop a new instance of massive, I mean massive. I'm just gonna drop a new instance of operator on the channel. I can turn off these three oscillators. Just, I like to turn them off even though I don't need to, just so I can know that I'm not using them and I can focus my attention on what is being used. So if we just drag this MIDI clip into, by holding down control and dragging down, we can copy that MIDI clip. And if we solo this now and turn off the master on the master channel, uh, just so we can get a accurate representation of the sound. Pretty sweet, right? Make sure you're clicked on this first oscillator down here and we're gonna go over and draw in a custom oscillator. We're gonna click the 16 and just something like this. Uh, we don't need anything up here in these frequencies because this is just gonna be the sub part of the kick. So this is good. Next thing we need to do is just turn up the release time just so we give it some release. Cool, we are gonna use this filter so we're gonna leave, it's already on, we're gonna leave it on. We're gonna drag it down to about here, maybe a little bit less. Turn up the resonance. And I'm just doing this quickly. You're gonna to wanna to fine tune this on your own device but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do things kind of quickly. Inside of here, everything looks good. Next thing we're gonna do is turn on the pitch envelope and we're gonna turn it up to 100%. That's gonna affect all of the sound uh, from the oscillator A. Uh, you can turn these off too if you wanted to. Uh, they're gonna be unhighlighted because we've already turned these off. So that's fine, that's good to go. Um, that's fine. And now we're gonna adjust some of these parameters. Now I'm gonna make just some adjustments. I'm just gonna type these num numbers in, but feel free to play around if you wanna get a different kind of sound. But I'm just gonna use the uh, parameters that I had already set up in when I was making this before the tutorial. So I just put 11.8 milliseconds here. I'm gonna put 134 milliseconds here, and I'm also gonna put 174 here. Cool. So you can kind of hear that it's already starting to get kind of that quick pitch shift that you get on most kicks these days. The next thing I'm gonna do is on the initial, I'm gonna pull it up to all the way up to plus 48. On the peak, I'm gonna leave it at 12. And on the sustain, I'm gonna bring it down negative 12. Cool. But you hear it goes doom. Uh, that's because at the end, it's going back up to zero. So I'm going to bring this down to negative 24. So it rolls off on a super subby sound. Cool. And I'm going to turn this up so we can hear it a little bit better. Cool. And if we come back in here, if you see this little uh, box over here, if we check that, we're going to get the slope, which is going to change how the sound goes from this point to this point. And on this slope, we're gonna pull it up to 100%. So it starts up and drops down really fast and then kind of rolls off into this. Cool, and then the next thing we're gonna do is bring this down to about 80%. 
And as you can hear, that's pretty much where we want. We're going to come in and fine tune it once we wrap it all up into the instrument rack, the final instrument rack and the final tutorial. But for right now, this is a pretty solid sub bass end of a kick. Cool. So that's where I'm going to leave you right now. But the next tutorial, we're going to come in and make the noise on top of it that gives it that really kind of punch sound and adds the upper end of the frequency spectrum to the kick itself. I hope you learned something and I will see you next tutorial.